good morning afternoon it's still the morning here just about oh no it is the afternoon i lied i hope it was well i thought i'd do a little video just updating like my plans for atlas mountains and goal setting now it's a really early race in the year in terms of ultra races especially for people in the northern hemisphere and northern europe where the weather quite frankly has been crap where i am anyway it's been really hard to get out for long rides just because the roads have not been safe dry multiple insert excuses here so today i'm out for a long-ish ride try and get three four hours done maybe on the mountain bike again and then the aim is to try and get in total five hours done for the day i think it's quite reasonable it's like lunchtime here just keep chugging along and then as it starts to get a bit dark we're just gonna head home and just jump on the turbo which some people might think sounds like hell but in reality it's actually quite nice for me in my head to mix it up a little bit but yeah for now out on the mountain bike just trying to get the hours in so a little bit of an update of plans i fly out to morocco on saturday it's monday today tomorrow tuesday spending the day getting the bike properly ready loading it up and getting some nice photos of it for bikepacking.com they do a really good article of people's like setups it's pretty cool and then got a couple of like short sessions to do in the week no longer than two hours along with just trying to juggle it around work pack everything up by like thursday fly on saturday and get to morocco on saturday night race starts on the 3rd of february i've very clearly got some days to chill out beforehand kind of get used to the temperature a few easy rides yeah just kind of acclimatize a little bit because it has been very very cold here in the uk it's about zero at the moment a lovely toasty zero so my route today about 50k and it's loops so there's two like 20 25k loops i could just keep doing them until it starts to get dark and head home i think i'm probably gonna get like one double which is 50k and then maybe half so it'd be like 70 okay maybe I'm just gonna kind of see how it goes it's my friends i see when i'm riding hello hey 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 pigos nom 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 hey pigo so this video <coughs> i was going to talk a little bit about my goals for atlas mountains now the first question that a lot of people probably ask is can i win atlas mountains anyone can win atlas mountains can i win it this time no no i'm pretty adamant i can't there is a lot better off-road riders racing than me i like to think that i'm a bit of an all-rounder generally but off-road although i don't think i'm by any means bad i'm definitely not amazing there's a lot better people off-road than me uh, i'm also scared of heights so that doesn't help but the big thing is is that i won't take like really stupid risks which probably are the kind of risks you need to take to be able to win these kind of events so i guess that that leads into the next question is like why am i going now there's a couple of reasons why i'm going i think first of all for me as i crashed out of it quite bad last time i'm going so just like to kind of maybe not crash out this time um, whether that means I finish or not is another you know, it's a different story but I, I want to go there 
and just kind of give myself a bit more confidence in riding off-road in Morocco and um, I am really really quite anxious about this one because I didn't have a good time last time if I'm honest so why am I actually going back um, to kind of enjoy it to bike pack the route like to actually just go around the route and see what it's like and kind of enjoy the experience now a big part of it for me is just trying to get some hard days in the legs on the bike which I think is really good mentally and physically for you and I've kind of given myself a bit of a cut-off point so race starts on the afternoon evening of the 3rd of February and you have to finish by the closing of the finishers party on the 11th of February now a couple of issues for that for me the flight that I could get was the 11th of February so I've kind of lost a day which isn't ideal so I've kind of given myself until the 10th of February to finish and the reason why I need to fly home for the 11th is I'm then off doing a project with Shimano which is pretty awesome out in Spain going to Calpe for a week with uh, my coach and a few other people in the BPC race team but basically I have to finish kind of by the temp and that's kind of the pressure I put on myself now if I don't finish by the temp I basically need to get in a taxi wherever I am and get to the airport it is what it is but it's taken a bit of the uh, additional pressure and stress away from me to be honest with you so it is what it is and it's maybe not the most ideal way of doing it but I have a lot of other projects later on in the year which to be honest with you are what I would class as A projects that's something that's been a big focus for a few years not just for this year while B projects which is Atlas Mountains at the moment are still important of course but not as quite high priority to me I guess an easy way of kind of describing it so you think like someone who's trying to win the Tour de France that's their A race and their B race might be like I don't know the Dauphiné or I don't know one of the other like shorter week-long stage races Tour of Switzerland or something so you could argue like someone in the Spring Classics like their A race might be Flanders or Paris-Roubaix and a B race might be Omlu Head News Vlad or you know Cairn Brussels Cairns one of the smaller races still a big race but you know scale isn't it I think going into it with that mentality has probably helped me quite a lot I am quite anxious about it still because of past experiences in Morocco but I'm trying to go into it as a level-headed and calm as I can and then we'll just see what happens on the road and I'll try and document it the best I can as well Be a beautiful day so yeah what I'm basically saying is like for me personally I can't mentally or physically have everything be an A race I'm not I don't have the strength I don't have the mental capacity and so pick your battles
watched the last video and you saw that icy bit, I'm there now. It's definitely thawed out, thankfully. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I'd probably be on the deck by now. When was the last real kiss? When did it turn from that to this? When did the last spark fly? When did it draw its final sign? I have known for some time now Nothing sure, I just knew somehow Another Richmond in the field Who was the first to abandon ship? Who was the first to let love slip? And does it make any difference? Who was to let the faucet stand? Loop one, done back on the second loop this to my mates right piggos hip hip those pigs have got the absolute best life they're basically since I moved here they've been out on that field unless it's really bad weather digging around doing pig stuff loving life they got it nailed happy little piggos I forgot to say like a general sort of update on what's happened over the last week. So there is some exciting news of a new sponsor coming on board. I'm quite, quite excited about this one. But it does mean a change from an existing sponsor. I just want to say like a absolutely huge thank you to Dov and the rest of the parkour team for all the support over the years can't be more truthful about how great their wheels are and the support they've given me over the years and if you're looking for like a competitive priced good quality wheel offering some of like the latest in technology and rim whips out there definitely go check out parkours but that does leave the door open for some quite exciting new partnerships I'll keep you posted on that one it'll be coming out very very soon in fact for Morocco I guess the next kind of big thing to talk about is me and my physical and mental health I guess and um, the physical front I've been having a few niggles and issues with my back I think it's just a combination of getting a bit older pushing myself pretty hard especially over the winter, my back always tends to be a bit sore in the winter. I think it's the cold and doing lots of like high intensity stuff. So the intervals and the torque that you put through your body, we're seeing it by all means. I'm no way comparing myself to Van der Poel, but we've seen him have similar issues with his back as well. And they reckon it's down to the sheer power that he churns through the bike makes sense head wise been pretty good recently i always struggle in the winter months just find it a bit shit i think many people do um this time of the year is usually the bit that's the worst going into the new year so yeah the back's been a bit of a bit of a bugger but been stretching it out as much as i can um trying to allow it to rest as best i can and getting massages. My mate Josh, who lives in Leek, has his own little massage studio, and he's very good. He actually gave me a massage this morning. We tried to get a few little lumps and bumps out of my back before going away. It does feel better for it, but it's always on my left side, which is probably because I compensate slightly with my left side, since I have the nerve damage in my left hand. So I had to grip onto things a lot tighter. 
sounds silly but it's all connected right some snow a little bit just using this like a uh, lower tail fin back at the moment just mounts on with rubber straps again it's really neat and that's got all like tools and spares of it but yeah that's where I am pretty lucky oh sheepies hello anyway I am Coming towards the end of the second loop of the two, like little figure of eight thing. And uh, I think I'm gonna call it there for this episode. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you found it somewhat useful, informative, all that. And I'll see you for the next one. Have a lovely day. <laughs>